My name is Ricardo Tadeu. I am 48 years old. And the curse of my life was the depression. In 2015, I suffered a heart attack. At that moment, it didn't really shake me. But I became more careful. In 2021, I suffered a second heart attack. At the emergency, the doctor that was taking care of me gave me a death sentence. As he said that this was a case of death. And when the doctor said that word to me, saying that it was for death, it was like I embraced that word. That word entered inside of me and I start to live upon it. After they discharged me from the hospital, I went home and suffered pain every day. Every single day, I was feeling pain in my heart. It lasted eight months. I couldn't sleep. Most of the time, I was awake. When I tried to sleep, it has to be sitting down. I couldn't lie down. I remember my wife got the bed adapted for me to be always sitting down because I was afraid of dying. And there it started a very strong depression because I stopped working. My wife and my son had to take over the business as my expectation was very little as every day I thought I would die. So I started to plan how I would leave my family covered with less burden when I die. I have made the life insurance for my wife, funeral service, grave, coffin, because my expectation was to die at any day. Eu iria morrer. There were days that my wife, she would look at me and she would see me as if I was already dead in front of her because I would stay many hours sitting on that sofa. My appearance, sometimes I looked gray like a dead body. She would cry as there was no expectation of any reaction from me. I would look at the mirror and would not like what I would see. I used to be a happy person. I used to be optimistic, even strong, but I even lost 20 kilos due to the situation. I couldn't even eat. I was afraid to eat, feel ill, and die. And it was one day that we were watching a program from the church. One of those nights that I would not sleep, and my wife always by my side. We would even take part of the midnight prayers. And my wife, when the pastor invited for the meeting, she asked me, let's go to this meeting. And at that moment, as I couldn't take any more all that suffering, I said, right, let's go. And as we arrived at the Universal Church, I heard the preaching of the pastors, that strong word, direct, and of faith. And I, I then understood that what I was facing was not only a depression, but it was a curse in my life. And I needed to break it somehow, so I decided to obey make the chain of prayers and participate. I have learned how to react, getting to know the word and truly practicing the word of God in my life. Attending the Friday deliverance services, I start to fight against it because it, I understood that that curse was dominating me. So I became disciplined and not missing the services. I was punctual to the meetings and fight against this. There was even a time of a specific purpose that I listened to the word. I made a letter that I reject that curse in my life. It was a family curse or a blood curse. I reject it until one day that curse that was in my life was broken. Indeed, things transformed. I start to sleep laying down again. 
after eight months, that was amazing for me. That fact that I slept, laying down, and peacefully, that was great. I understood that that curse from my life was broken. I also understood that I need to strengthen myself more and more with the Holy Spirit. So I started to see the meetings and seek the Holy Spirit intensively. And I asked for the Holy Spirit to take over my life. That's when he came and strengthened me, changed my mind. He guided me and he started to lead me, showing me what I should do and how to do. And this was extremely important for me, to have today a joy that I did not have. So, para quem, para... For someone that had the idea to die and had everything ready for death, today I want to leave. I want to be around my family. Today I have happiness in my heart. I came back to work. I am more active at work. I am a present husband and father. Even today a person that was depressed now I help others that suffered with it. One thing that was of extreme importance for me is that understanding that the word of man determined death to me, but the word of God that came from the altar determined life to me, gave me hope of life, revived me, and changed my story. And it was decisive between death and life, blessing and curse.